I knew going into the Speed Project solo, especially right before with the lack of training that I had, that I was going to be digging very deep from, from the start. And I was well aware that there were going to be large challenges, but I underestimated the extent of the challenge that I was going to face out there because not every race goes smoothly and this certainly was anything but smooth. Okay, I need my list. I yep. can't forget that. I'm very uh, inaccurate. I'm just like, any event like this, like I'm not anticipating anything. I'm just like going out and doing what I know I'm capable of doing and that's like, that's just moving without stopping. That's it. Just move, just keep on moving, don't stop. Minimize all rest stops, just go. The Speed Project is a renegade race. It's unsanctioned. There are no rules, no spectators. All you have to do is get from the Santa Monica Pier on foot to the Las Vegas side. Nice, right? But it's like, I gotta like retie my shoe 14 times yeah. to find like the right. Yeah. Where the group run is? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I am building my own story, not necessarily for anybody else except for myself. I am really drawn to the things that are absolutely miserable um, because I know from experience, for the most part on the other side, I come out wanting more of it. did not blow up at the second mile for a very mysterious reason. We have no idea what's going on right now. Yeah, that's fine, but you put it on the light. Is I would feel the fantastic. The heat's a little rough, but it's more manageable than dealing with whatever's going on in both of my lights right now. And the fact that it happened at mile two is very puzzling. It's not like they're blown out because I was running fast. So we have no idea what's going on. I've been for the past few miles, been getting some like shooting nervy pain um, down my leg and my right leg feels like it's gonna buckle every once in a while, which is obviously directly associated with my psoas, my back, because right now he's digging into it and I, it's it's imitating the exact same pain that I'm feeling. No, no, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good guys, don't worry. I'm a little tired. My, my quads are still destroyed. My hamstring is bothering me and my talus bone and my ankles is starting to get jammed up, which is all due to my back as we found out, but working through it. Going a little bit slower right now to conserve some energy. I don't want to blow up because I'm a little over a hundred miles in and that's only like a third of the way. Well, it's a little less than a third, but that's not a, it's not a lot of miles.
a matter of can, it's how far will I go? Because that's an open door for me. I just took it in small increments um, and tried to enjoy the fact that I was, you know, running through these cities outside of LA and then all of a sudden the landscape started to change and I was in the desert. It's not necessarily the terrain that's the most challenging, it's the fact that there is no shade. You, once you leave LA, you are completely exposed to the elements, whether it's really strong wind, which can turn up a lot of dust and sand, and then the broiling sun. It's pretty relentless if you think about it. The pain was getting progressively worse and worse and worse. And in a way, the pain numbed me from the actual mileage. Distracted me from the mileage because I was in so much pain, that's where my mind was focusing. When I, If I were to focus on the pain, which I was doing my best not to do, but it was pretty difficult to avoid it a lot of the Is time. Is pure tropical paradise to you right now? I'm cold. I don't sleep. My lip is so chapped. Dude, it's it's what everybody knew was coming. It's it's just time for a little hurt. I was of this stupid leg. Oh, I'd be so much farther if my leg was working. All right. I don't think I really thought about winning at that point. Nor did I think much about winning even slightly before that. Like when the sun goes down, I was just thinking about, I just have to move. And stay awake until sunrise. I needed the sunrise. No, I feel a lot better and I have a lot of work to do today because last night was a wash. I was so, I just was, so I had to slow down because of my leg and as a result, I was getting exhausted because I wasn't moving. So, thank you. One feeds the other and it just sucks. I lost a lot of time, a lot of miles that I wanted to do. So, just gotta put in work. <laughs> I find that I will always push myself the extra yard, uh, like beyond where I'm comfortable and through whatever pain I'm going through. And when I finish it, all of a sudden I know that I have like that much more in me to go do something else. I think that, you know, we all have our lines that are predetermined in our minds, wherever we are in that moment. And that line is not an actual representation of how far we are willing to go to get something done. It sucks when you show up to something with a goal and you know at a certain point that you are not going to achieve that goal. It really sucks. But I also see the side of gaining the experience of completing something like that and using that knowledge to give it another go and to do it again. And I also uh, have too much pride in that I'm not just going to throw in the towel after having gone such a distance when I have you know, comparatively speaking, a much smaller distance to go to finish it. Um, I was going to get to Vegas, running, jogging, walking, crawling. I was going to get there one way or another. Was I going to achieve my goal? No, and that is very difficult to digest. <laughs>
but it is what it is. Not everybody has their best day every day. What the hell did I just do?